See if human resources in there. Hello, how are you? Good. How are, are we you? like touching palms? <laughs> oh, how are you? How you doing? What, what's your name? Can I ask what your name is and what you do here? <laughs> in the way the world is these days with public buildings, please turn that away. I don't feel the need to be on your camera. Well, this is a public building and I'm here to explain to you what I'm doing. So do you and want me to tell you what I'm doing? What happened recently in public buildings? Do you understand how that could make people in the public buildings nervous? Well, somebody was probably hit by a car today and I'm not going to stop crossing the street. Officer Gilmore? Gilmore. Yep, let's okay. step out here, guys. How's it going guys? Amagansett Press. We are coming to you today from Billings, Montana. And we are at the City Hall here in Billings. And uh, we're just gonna pay a little visit on these folks here today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. Um, I am out with watching the Watchmen today. And uh, let me see if I can give you a little view of the neighborhood here. And while I'm doing that, time and temperature check. Today is Thursday, March 11th. It is 12.54 in the afternoon, and it is 37 degrees and sunny in Billings, Montana. How you doing today, Watchman? Cold. Also just want to let you guys know, yeah, it is a little chilly out here on the shady side of the building. Also want to let you guys know that I am exercising my 2A today. And uh, recently in uh, Montana, the statewide mask order has been rescinded. Uh, so there no longer is a requirement to wear masks in City Hall, uh, but they do still have the signs up that say masks are required. So we're gonna test the theory here today and uh, see how they respond. Ready to go in? Yeah. Oh yeah, and it specifically says per the governor's order, which is no longer in effect. Exactly, so. yep. Good point, Watchman. After you. Thank you. All right, let's check these signs. Social distancing. Yeah, we can hang with that. Thanks. Yep. You have a uh, City of Billings current job opportunities posting board. If anyone's in the Billings area looking for work, the city's hiring. Let's take a look at the uh, logo here. That's very cool. Have some uh, readily available forms here. Employment information, business licenses, uh, handicap permit applications, that kind of stuff. And uh, this is the finance department, where I guess you can pay your business tax, all other tax. I don't know what SID is. I'm not sure about that. Hello. Hi, do you need some help? Actually, what is SID, if you don't mind telling me? I got you. Okay, cool. I don't live here in Billings, so that would explain why I don't know, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry, my name's Jason. What was your name? I'm Joanne. Joanne. Nice to meet you, Joanne. Can I help hey. you? Oh, no, we're just looking around City Hall. Never been in Billings before. Okay. Very cool. Thank you. I shouldn't say that. We were here once before. Yeah. Haven't been in Billings in a long time. There's an administration offices on this side. Human resources in there. Hello, how are you? Good, how are, are we like touching palms? <laughs> oh, how are you? How you doing? What, what's your name? Can I ask what your name is and what you do here? <laughs> My name is Val. What are you doing? My name is Jason Val. Nice to meet you. I work in HR. Oh, cool. Very cool. Well, I'm just taking some video. We're just checking out your city hall. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now that things have been kind of opened up a little bit, yeah, you know, time to start getting out and 
checking things out again. Yeah, but thank you, pal. We appreciate you. Okay. Um, are there other public areas back here? Like. All the offices are, you have to um, get buzzed in. And well, yeah, I don't want to go in anybody's office. Yeah. yeah. It's, the hallways are public. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's about it, because IT's down there and legal's down there. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm not looking to go in anybody's office. Yeah. Let it, let, people are at work, let them work. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> All righty, well, thank you, Val. I appreciate you. So look, let's see. Huh. Well, so interesting sign. The carrying or possession of weapons, firearms, or destructive devices at Billings City Council proceedings by any person except law enforcement personnel is prohibited and is a criminal offense. Ordinance 98-5068. Well, there's no proceedings going on now, I hope. Oh, look at that. Walk in the room, the lights come on. <laughs> yeah, I'll just turn them on. Huh? Yeah, you can just turn them on. Well, I don't know. Oh, there we go. It takes a second to come on. So here's a uh, conference room. Very cool. Oh, are you done? I'm sorry. I don't wanna... Yeah, no. I'm good. I don't want to turn the lights out on you. Hello. All right, so that's the end of this hallway. It's a pretty cool uh, little entrance there. It only goes up to 2018. This is the most recent one they have up. They have the uh, city council portraits. Down the hallway. Hey, look at that. Attorneys, court, police, and audio and video recording that way. <laughs> All right, cool. Nice. Now it says that way. So this is the IT department. Mayor and city council. The, uh, guess the mayor's not in today. Rare, mayors are very rarely at city hall. You ever notice that? <laughs> yeah. All right, so what's in here? Basement is employees only. And uh, this is, a, yeah, this is a door for attorney, police, and court, which uh, for the time being, you're not allowed to exercise your 2A in those uh, places. So we're going to go this way. Well, well, maybe we'll check them out on the, you know, we'll go around the other side when we're done here and maybe pay a little visit on the uh, I think police department. Through there. Maybe it's separate doors for each thing. Because I think the police is the only place you're not allowed to have it. Is there? Mm -hmm. I don't, know, I don't see any signage, do you? There's nothing on this door. There's nothing on the door that says anything. All right, let's go check it out. I'm game. Freedom Shrine, created by the exchange clubs to strengthen citizen appreciation of our American heritage. clock. City attorney's office is closed from 12 to 1. And it's 102. 103. And then uh, this is the police department. City court through this door to the lobby and then second floor. It's not fair. Watchman could just look over the top of my head. <laughs> And they don't have a sign here. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, the way I'm seeing it, the, well, the, the uh, attorney and then. What Maybe we can ask the attorney. Yeah. 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 But what I was saying is that the, uh, the law says secure areas, so it's just the lobby. Oh, even of the police department? Uh -huh. Oh, really? Okay. Hi, how are you? What are you guys doing? We're checking out your signage. For what? No, we're just checking out the signs in the building. Who are you with? Myself and this fine gentleman here next to me. We're just, we're, I'm not with anybody in particular. Okay. Well, we're just wondering, because they did a sign thing recently, and they decided not to make any changes. Oh, they were looking into changing some of the stuff? Well, just better definition to them. I think it's laid out pretty well. Okay, well, I'm just curious why you're here with cameras, what you're doing. Well, we're just making a video of the city hall. What, for what purpose? Well, I don't know. It could be for a lot of purposes. Well, what's, being what's very it? evasive. Being very evasive. Okay, well, I don't know. We'll go see if the police think I'm evasive. <laughs> Let's go check these folks out today. So the... Uh, Infamous green box. Hi, Hi how are you? Things? Oh, we're just taking a look at City Hall and wandered into the police department. Cool. How you doing today? Good, how are you? Doing well, thanks. What are you, uh, you got a big project? Not really, no. We're just traveling and uh, like to check out municipal buildings. You know, things just recently opened up a little bit so you can start spreading your wings a little and getting back into things. And yeah, yeah. You're yeah. welcome. Thank you. What, what was your name? Record supervisor. My name is Jason Becky. Nice to meet you. Ben, nice Jason. to meet you. Well, you guys have safe travel and enjoy yourself. Thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Well, very cool. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Well, that's uh, interesting. What's that? Another example of don't trust the signs. The sign on the front door of the police department. That says no no weapons. Right. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, well that is that's a very good point. Let's walk down there. Um because again I said it, but I showed you guys before, but I am exercising my 2A today. And on the outside of the police department door here it says no firearms, uh, but we just went into the police department and firearms are allowed. And the reason we did that is because we did our homework before we uh came out today and the only part of a police department you are not allowed to carry a firearm in are uh, secure areas so the public lobby is fair game but they put a sign on here that says smoke and weapons free facility which is totally uh, misleading so watchman brings up an excellent point this is why you always have to uh, verify the validity of signs that you read anybody could put up a sign saying anything um if there's no statute attached to it and there's no code attached to it and uh, there's nothing to back it up it could very well be just somebody's uh somebody got inspired to write a sign that day let's go look at the signs that are on the outside of the door here so social distancing let's see what else we have Nothing on this door. <laughs> I'm surprised we're not on there. There's uh, nothing on this door. It's a prime example of how people will put signs out telling you that you're not allowed to do something that you are allowed to do. Um, and most people will just believe that and carry on and, you know, we should go back. You know what? We should actually go back inside and speak to the uh, attorney. Yeah, yeah, she was talking about the signage. She said it was all on Right. Yeah. Why don't we go talk to her? Yeah. Was it? Can you cut through this way? Yeah, I think you can. Or was that court? Yeah, you just go over there. Yeah, you can. Okay. So yeah, let's go this way. What through there? Right. Right. Okay. Let's go see if we can find her. Hello? They have a press for service. Uh, press for service. Hi. So I, I didn't want you to, I didn't want to leave with you feeling like I was being evasive. So, yeah, evasive. evasive. And the way the world is these days with public buildings, please turn that away. 
I don't feel the need to be on your camera. Well, this is a public building, and I'm here to explain to you what I'm doing. So do you and want me to tell you what I'm doing? What happened recently in public buildings? Do you understand how that could make people in the public buildings nervous? Well, somebody was probably hit by a car today, and I'm not going to stop crossing the street. That makes no sense. Sure it does. Okay, what do you have to tell me? Well, you're interested in having a cordial cut. You asked me what I'm doing, so I came back specifically to tell you so you wouldn't have any... You were very evasive before. All right, well, I came back specifically to tell you so you wouldn't have any concerns when I left. Will you please not post this on Facebook or anywhere else? I can't guarantee you that. Okay, then I don't feel like I need to visit with you. Thank well, you. Well, I have a question for your office. So if there's somebody that's... I need a question answered. I need service. She's going to walk away like that? All right, so now we're being denied service by the uh, county attorney. That's silly. Maybe there's somebody else here. So I just want to point out to you guys, I specifically came back to explain to her what I was doing, and this is the response I get. So for those of you that ask, why don't you just tell people what you're doing? Well, she's obviously not going to answer. Let's go ask the police department. No. See if there's an officer we can speak to. Yeah. I guess so. Where did Val go? Val was nice. Yeah. Do you want me to call? Should I call you? I'm on the phone. Oh, okay. Is there somebody that can help us? I'm hit, so you're gonna have to wait. I was just asking if you want me to call dispatch because it says that here or if you want to speak with an officer? Yes. Okay. All right. No problem. Thank you. So it'll be quicker if we call. So let's call. Is she going to answer the phone <laughs> and say, hi, can I help you? Probably. All right, so we're calling the police department from the police department. City County Dispatch Circa. Yes, hi. I am in your uh, police lobby, and I'm interested in speaking with an officer, and there's a sign here that says to call this number. Yeah, we can have someone come over there. What happened? Oh, I just said nothing. There's no emergency, no crime to report or anything. I just have a general uh, question for them. Yeah, I can have a commander actually call you. That would be great. Yeah, that'd be excellent. Yeah, um, what's your name, sir? Well, are they going to come down to the police department here? Or they, what, how, does, how do I get to speak to somebody? Get your information, have them call you, and then if they want to come out there and speak with you, they can. You can get my information, and have, I just want to ask a question. I didn't want to go through like uh, some kind of an interrogation process here. I'm just looking to ask a question of a police officer. Yeah, I, I understand that, but they would have to call you just because I'm not at the police department. I'm in a whole other building. So and there are so, here with me. so there are no police at the police department. Usually, no. We have to actually pull them off of the street. Huh. If somebody has something to report downtown. Okay. Um, like a commander could be down there, but I don't know. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm here in the lobby. I'll hang out for five or ten minutes if you can get somebody to come down. If not, I'll just take off and... Okay, what's your name? Well, I don't, like I said, I, I value my private information. I'm not interested in just giving out my private information for no reason. If it becomes necessary, I'd be happy to. Okay, it's just so they know who they're looking for. We're the only one standing in the lobby. Okay. Okay. Bye. I'll thank let you. Them know. All right. Thank you. So this police department is so busy that they don't have any police officers available, and uh, the people that are here have no time to speak to you. And I believe this actually should have been a question for the city attorney's office, but um, she's camera shy and doesn't want to answer our question. Yeah. I don't know. I'm very confused. I'm having a hard time getting somebody to help me out. I don't know. I, she said she was going to try to get somebody. I don't know if that, I don't know what that means. I see an officer walking around back there, back and forth. Looks like somebody higher up. I don't know if he can come out for a second. I 
Okay, very good. Thank you. Appreciate it. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? Good. You an officer by any chance? I'm not an officer. Yeah, no, okay. What are you guys up to? Hoping to speak to an officer. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Thanks. Hey, how are you? Howdy, how are you guys? Doing good. Here's an you guys officer. needed to report something or? No, I just actually have a question for you. And I'm thank you for coming down and speaking to us. I don't want to take too much of your time. And is it Officer Gilmore, Sergeant yep. Gilmore? Officer Gilmore? Gilmore, yep. Let's okay. step out here, guys. Yeah, absolutely. I was going to ask you to step out here so I could show you yeah, some I signage. Yeah, I've got a sergeant coming, too, so if it's any kind of question like that, he might be your guy to answer it. Question like what? what I don't know what you guys want to ask. Oh, so there you so, go. Yeah. got to keep my distance, so. Okay. So sure. you guys are, who are you with? Who are we with? Yeah. I'm just with this fine gentleman right here. Okay. Okay. So what's your question? Well, now the sergeant's here. How are we right. doing, sergeant? Now the boss is here. Yeah, now the boss is here. Well, everybody's got a boss, right? You got a boss. Can I just ask your name and badge number so I know who I'm speaking to? Scott Conrad, 156. 156. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. So I just want to ask you about a, the signage that's out here on the window here. Mm -hmm. Can we just take a look at it real quick? Yeah. yeah. So we, what we're doing here, let me tell you what we're doing. You probably know, <laughs> right? No? Okay, nope. so what we're doing is things are starting to open back up. The state mask mandate's been rescinded. So access for the general public is starting to open back up and people are able to go places we haven't been able to go for a while. So we came to the building to check out the building, check out what the access actually is, not what you're hearing on the news, okay. and uh, check out what the signage says and what's going on in the building, what the access force is. Mm -hmm. And here you have a sign that says, smoke and weapons free facility. Sure. What does that mean? You can't come in smoking and we don't want people walking in with a weapon. You can't come in smoking, and we don't want people walking in with a weapon. So I like the way you said that. You're a smart guy. So you can't come in smoking, which means it's against the law, okay. and we don't want people coming in with a weapon means it's not against the law, but we just really don't want people coming in. Sure. Right? Sure. Okay. So this sign to me, and I'm not trying to give you a hard time because I know you didn't make the sign and put it up there mm -hmm. or decide for it to be there, sure. but this sign is misinformation to the public. Well, I see where you're going. Are you talking about the, the recent signing by Governor Gianforte? No, I'm talking about the fact that weapons, specifically, are only prohibited in restricted, secure areas of the police department. Okay. By Montana's, according to Montana state law and Billings uh, Code and Ordinance, okay. the public's perfectly free to walk into a lobby with a firearm. Okay. Right? Something we can look at. Do you agree with me? I can't agree with you or disagree with you. Okay. So I got to look back at the language. Okay. Yeah, and I, so I think we should get that figured out because that's, you know, that's that could be, what my point is, and I'm not just here looking to nitpick and give you a problem. No what, if, what if somebody got off a bus, came here, was about to go in, has a weapon on them, sees that and says, oh, I, and, and wasted a trip because they think they're not allowed in when they actually are. I would assume they'd make a phone call for whatever purpose they need to come not in. Not everybody. Take care of the matter. I think the vast majority of people follow the law, and if there's a sign up that says don't come in, most people would just turn around and leave, mm -hmm. right? So, I'm just saying I think the sign should be accurate. I think that's a very important thing. I mean, that could wind up creating a problem. Got to take each situation with what you got. You, I'm sure you took plenty of government classes, right? Sure. And and law and that kind of thing. And the first rule of government is you don't make a rule that you can't enforce. Like right. I said, we got to go back to where we're at. We got to look at the language. Well, I know, and I it appreciate that. Yeah. yeah, you're bringing up an issue that maybe we need to look at. Very cool. No, and I appreciate that's what we do. We're, our whole goal and what we do is to try to be constructive, productive. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to instigate and cause problems. You guys can see what my demeanor is with you, mm -hmm. how I'm talking. I'm trying to be very respectful. Sure. But I, this is a legitimate concern for me. It might not be as concerning for you, okay. um, but it's a legitimate concern for me because I think. There are, and it's not just this sign. This is one example of this issue across the country. I've sure. been in 29 states in the past year and a half. We've driven over 30,000 miles going to municipalities doing mm -hmm. what we do. Where are you out um, of? Right now, Colorado. Okay. Um, but it's, so it's, it's something that's very important to us. And okay. as you guys know, the Constitution in this country is taking a beating right now. It is. Right? Mm -hmm. So we stand up for the Constitution. That's what our priority is. Mm -hmm. And we love to meet good law enforcement that's honoring their oath and holding up the Constitution. Uh, we're not any of those. Don't confuse us with anybody that's looking to defund the police or any of that nonsense. Mm -hmm. I think we need good quality policing in this country. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I think you guys also need to police your own. Yep. You know, just like there's bad photographers out there, there's some terrible cops that are not doing you guys any favors. Sure. Right? So this is the kind of thing that we're out looking for. Here's what I'm going to do for you. Okay. I'll address the issue not only with the chief of police, 
but the city administrator. Okay. See what direction we go. Okay, cool. Then you can follow up with me. Give me a call or come visit was, me personally. And just remember, Sergeant Conrad. I was gonna, do you have a business card by any chance? I don't have one on me, sir. Okay. Yeah, just call the police department. Ask it afford to me, and I'll, I'll chat with you. And Give you a couple. The follow up is. Give me a uh, couple of weeks. A week or two. A week or two. Okay, yep. perfect. I appreciate Thank that. You, Thank appreciate you very much you. for coming down. I appreciate you guys. Have a good day. Thank you. All right. Well, there you go, guys. Um, he knows in his heart very well that that sign is not accurate, based on the way he answered my question. He said to me. You're not allowed to smoke in the building, and we would prefer that you don't have your weapons with you. Um, so you gotta listen to what people say. You gotta be very careful about what signs say and the validity of these signs. Uh, because today it's about carrying firearms into a police department. Tomorrow, who knows what it is. Um, so I think this is important stuff, and I think that's great that we got the sergeant to admit that there's an issue there, a potential issue. Uh, and he's gonna look into it with his chief, and with uh, the city. So I think that's, uh, that's productive, that's great, and uh, I will definitely be following up with him. And I invite you guys to do the same thing. You know, give him a week or two, government moves slow. Don't call the guy uh, today and try to ask him what's going on. Um, but we'll, you know, and we'll come back and we will uh, do a follow up and find out what's going on and see if this has been corrected. Um, as far as the uh, attorney here at the attorney's office that didn't want to speak to us, um, that's her right, I guess. But what she should have done was got somebody else who didn't mind being on camera to come out and give us service. Um, because I feel like that question that I just asked the sergeant would have been better asked of a district attorney or a uh, city attorney. So uh, that's it. So I always like to remind you guys, if you like our videos, you enjoy what we do and you want to support what we do, best way for you to do that hands down is to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff gets our videos out to more people so more people can watch them, enjoy them, and hopefully learn a little something from them. Um, and I also invite you to do the same for watching and watching. His channel's doing great. He recently hit that 50,000 subscriber mark. Very proud of him. Um, you'll see stuff in his videos, obviously his narration. A lot of people ask why he's not talking so much in my videos. He's got his own channel. I'll put a link in the description, go check him out. Uh, he's got maps and information and other stuff you won't see here. Um, but that's it. So we're going to hop in the truck, head down the road, get some lunch, and uh, continue the journey. The day is young. So coming to you from the City Hall here in Billings, Montana, watching the Watchmen, I'm Against It Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out.